it's a technological war. It's like the fifth generation war. We need to use like internet, satellites, lasers, drones, all these things, computers. They need to be destroyed, not bodies. Normally, like guys who grew up playing video games with the controllers and Whoa. sticks, they are the best pilots because they have a reaction. They have the sense how to control. They don't have this nausea from like from from flying, and uh, they show themselves at the front line as the best as the best pilots. I mean, like the best pilot I know personally. The guy is 21 years old, gamer since he was six, and he has already eliminated like 1,500 Russians, like buddies, and like dozens of tanks and APCs. So. We have here all the tools and access for people to learn how to uh, make stuff, how to suckle the things, how to upcycle the materials. For example, right now, like using the batteries from these uh, vapes, like one-time cigarettes, you can make the power bank, which costs almost nothing, like a few bucks, and you can m make the power bank. It takes like up to one hour of work, if you know how to, even faster if you're proficient. And we're making these power banks and sending them to the deoccupied the villages where they have no uh, electricity. So they have like solar panels and they can charge their power banks and then charge phones with that. And it's like something fun, you know, like now people need to gather together. Like this feeling of unity is needed. So here we come together, practice, drinking tea, and this is community. I guarantee we have here the best tea in the city for sure. Mm -hmm. I lived in China for four years and I have the first hand tea. I like suppliers, they're like really good people who are making that and it's organic, good, healthy. Ukrainians are now working on creating the simulator that will actually simulate uh, radio electronic warfare, this EW thing, how they like suppress and jam the signal and also like the thing with the kamikaze with the explosives so for example in the game you will be able to see a car and then you need to find it and hit it with the explosives so it's it's also the battle of the cyber world like who, who can create a better program for training also eventually will win <laughs> If Ukraine creates properly this new robotic army, there will be tons of gamers around the world, like across the ocean from US, Canada, who would love to be the part of this unit. So you can be like the gamer in the most innovative. It's like in the movie Ender's Game. It was like, you know, the army of the humans were like children, basically. So I think eventually, if you calculate, maybe it's worse conscripting more young kids, but giving them really the conditions for work and do what they actually love. Fly, create things, and help the country. I think this can be a solution, part of the solution. Let's play cyber games against them. Let's play football, chess, something, but let's not die or kill our, like, each other. Stupid.